Good morning. <clears throat> Today is Friday of the second week of Easter, and it's also the optional memorial of St. Fidelis of Sigmaringen, who was martyred in 1622 uh, in Switzerland. He was born in Swabia. Uh, he was known as the lawyer of the poor before he entered the Capuchin Franciscans and was ordained. He's the proto-martyr of the propagation of the faith, the Society of the Missions. And we have two mass intentions this morning, uh, the eternal repose of Maggie Hansen and the eternal repose of Roberto de los Santos. I will be using the readings from the Easter week to keep the continuity. Perpetual light will shine on your saints, O Lord, and life without end forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to award the palm of martyrdom to St. Fidelis, as burning with love for you, he propagated the faith. Grant, we pray, through his intercession, that grounded in charity we may merit to know with him the power of the resurrection of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful about what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Theudas appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed. And all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him, after him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him. But he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. After recalling the apostle, so they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus, the word of the Lord. Amen. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek to dwell, dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. 
Mantenga sic tu dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. Alleluia. 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 One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him because he knew him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter said to him, there's a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This feeling of the multitude, the church has always seen it as, of course, foreshadowing the Eucharist. And also, the, wherever Jesus is, there's always plenty. There's plenty of love, plenty of everything. But uh, it's quite clear, especially in John's version of the story, that indeed somehow these loaves multiplied. Here we have a, uh, one of our priests is now blessed. John, uh, John Schiavo, and he was, uh, went from Italy to Brazil, and I met a sister who was a young sister when he was still alive, and uh, they credited many miracles when he was alive. He has had one miracle or twice, blessed, since he died. Someone in Argentina was cured. But <clears throat> a van load of kids who were expected in the, in the orphanage the next day came in the evening and of course they were hungry when they arrived and they only had like a pound of rice and he told the sisters to cook it it'll be enough and it was she swears that she saw that miracle uh, <clears throat> pastor tom who used to be at the church here in quartz hill you know in methodist when we had the good neighbor meal he told me of an experience in texas in antonio or somewhere <clears throat> in a feeding place, a, uh, like a St. Vincent de Paul kitchen or something. And they had a larger crowd than they expected. And they had a ham. And he said, the ham kept getting the same size. <laughs> they kept slicing ham and they didn't run out. And he saw that himself. I'm kind of a skeptic, but you have people, I've heard two contemporary, if you will, experiences of that kind of plenty provided by the Lord. At the same time, we can't just rely on that. That's very rare. Uh, and it was also prepared for, they had everything else. They just had too many show up uh, <coughs> or une 
unexpectedly show up. On the other side, there was one of the mission trips we took during the Easter vacation when I was at the Marine Catholic, and we took there were three senior girls. My sister Pat and I went to Harlan County, Kentucky. And one of the people we spent quite a bit of time with was an interesting fellow who had gone to the army from that little town. And uh, when he got out, he got a job for Caterpillar and became very high up in the company in a beautiful house on Lake Michigan in Chicago. And he decided when he retired, he wanted to go back. He still had a little piece of land there in the hills. And his wife said, have fun, I'm staying here. <laughs> but he taught, delighted the girls with his storytelling. And he pointed, he said, you see that rock yonder, that big rock? He said, every day during the Depression, there was a man with a whole house full of babies. And he would come every morning. <clears throat> and he would stand on that rock and say, Lord, help me find something to feed my babies. And he went hunting, and every day he found enough game to feed his family. That's also the Lord. And so it's a combination of what we do and what the Lord does, uh, and realizing again that somehow all of this is God's will. And again, we see the apostles suffering for their sticking to the faith, to not backing down. And they see it, they rejoice that they were able to share in the sufferings of Christ. St. Fidelis, I don't know exactly the details of his life, but I suspect it was, he was preaching uh, after the Reformation to try to get people back to, to the church. And obviously he was not liked <laughs> and he was martyred. And so that was 1622. There's more martyrs today than in the long term. So all of these things, I think the only reason I think they help us to keep in perspective our little things, our little and big and all those things in the middle. Help us to keep perspective on our own sufferings and our own joys and to realize that somehow they all fit in to the cross and the resurrection of Christ. Let us now present our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Let us pray for <clears throat> all of those who who have various positions of authority in the various Christian churches, that they will truly work to, uh, to strengthen our work together on the, uh, the shared faith in one Lord, one faith, one baptism. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord. Let us pray again for all of those in leadership in the healing community, the civil leaders, that they will be wise and courageous and Listen, be able to listen as well as talk. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord yeah. pray. And let us pray for all of those who um, have died during this time, especially those who um, have died from this coronavirus. And for all of those who mourn them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord yeah. Yeah. Pray. Let us pray for new vocations to the priesthood and to the religious life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Maggie Henson and Roberto de los Santos for their eternal repose. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And follow of your personal intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to receive these prayers through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that you become for us the bread of life. Blessed be our God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We now accept the sacrifice in your hands for the prayers and glory of his name, for our good and the glory of his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed martyr, St. Fidelis, that it may lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is the right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. <coughs> but in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, 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 the Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Maggie and Roberto, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Hallelujah. Let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts, rejoicing at, at this feast day, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Yeah, about two o'clock, you'll be able to see it.